Hi there, this is Peter Io from the 9th Age Forum and in this video I wanted to talk about rules in the Quick Starter and uh, specifically focus a bit on one of the uh, Quick Starter phases which is the uh, shooting phase. Um, so uh, in this video we will have three sections. First section with the very 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 basic rules uh, that are interesting to people who have never played the, the quick starter or the ninth age in general then we're gonna have a second part with more advanced concepts and then a final one a final section in which we put together uh, the rules and try and um, uh, use them to our advantage with that type of thinking now let's start with the uh, first section which as we said is the uh, basics of shooting and um, let's zoom in into a selection of these units that we have here. For example, let's have a look at this situation here. Now in this situation, you see a unit of uh, citizen archers from the highborn uh, elves faction here. That's five files and two ranks. And the citizen archers, they have a longbow, so they can qualify for shooting. We also have another unit of skeleton archers here and the skeleton archers also have a, a sort of bow so they're also a shooter but there is only one of these two units uh, which can shoot and crucially this is requirement number one you have to be able to see your opponent in, able to, uh, in order to shoot at the opponent so if I turn the line of sight on and I select this unit, you see that this unit sees the skeleton archers. And on the other side on the other hand, the skeleton archers they are looking the other way, and so they see the rest of the battlefield, but they don't see the archers. So requirement number one, you uh, have to see your opponent, okay? Your your targets. Now um I showed this to you by um um, selecting the line of sight for the entire uh, unit but in truth you have to calculate this for every model that's shooting so if I take the skeleton archers and I put them up there then and, and then I put my um, elves uh, archers here then you might see that some of my archers might still see the enemy you see that there's still a, a portion of the uh, uh, skeleton archers unit which is inside my line of sight but as I move down with my archers then uh, this is still maybe the case but this archer here already cannot see its target anymore so requirement number one each model that wants to shoot uh, has to have the enemy in line of sight if it doesn't have the uh, the enemy in line of sight maybe some other models in the unit will be able to shoot but not the model itself, right? So this was example number one. Then, uh, of course, requirement number two is that you have to have a, a shooting weapon, but, you know, no, that's I should have said that earlier, possibly. And as you see here, what we've said is that when you look at the uh, profile for a given unit, if it has a shooting weapon, then it is stated in the, uh, in the profile. Now, let's look at the uh, second requirement. This, um, the fact of having the enemy in line of sight is not enough. The enemy also has to be in range of the weapon for each, uh, for each uh, model that wants to shoot. So, for example, if I am shooting with my uh, Hibernelt archers at this unit of zombies, which is eight inches away, uh, then I check the uh, range of my longbow and I see that the range is 30. So 8 is less than 30, I'm fine, I'm okay. I can shoot at these guys here. But imagine that I did not want to shoot at these guys over here, but I wanted to shoot at the silver archers over here. See? Wow, hiding over there. And you see that the distance between my elven archers and the silver archers is 33. So I cannot shoot at them because they are... Uh, they are beyond the 30 inches that I have as range of my weapon. All right. So let's remove 
the uh, meter and put the zombies back. Now, how does um, how does shooting work with respect to range? It's the same thing as for the line of sight. Each model has to have the opponent in range if it wants to shoot. There can be situations in which the same unit of archer, two archers, have the model within 30 and the, the remaining archers don't, as we've seen for the, uh, for the line of sight issue. Same thing, you have to check for each model. Once you do that, how do you uh, actually shoot at, the, um, at your enemy? So let's make an example here with the, um, the uh, citizen archers and the zombies. So we have 10 archers, and these are armed with a uh, longbow. And it says here that the aim value is a 3 plus. So since you have one shot for each of the archers, and you have 10 archers, you take 10 dice, and you roll these 10 dice, and you see how many 3 plus you manage to roll. And we roll 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And Universal Battle also tells you here, if you needed a 3+, plus, it's 5 of them. Okay. And so th this means that the archers have hit 5 zombies. Okay. Now, hitting is not enough. Hitting means that you centered your target, but you also have to make sure that the, uh, the impact of the hit is strong enough to cause a wound that makes your opponent unable to keep fighting. And in order to do this, you have to wound your opponent. So first you hit, then you see how many of your rolls have hit. You take those five, and then you roll those five again to see whether you manage to wound. And you don't wound uh, always with the same result on a roll. You have to calculate what is the, uh, uh, the result that you need. And in order to calculate that, you need some tables. Notably, you need the uh, to-wound table. And the to-wound table tells you that you have to look at the strength of the attack minus the resilience of the uh, target. So let's have a look at the strength of the bow of the citizen archers. And it has a strength of three. You don't use the strength of the archer. You use the strength of the bow. It's not the archer with, with his arm poking the, the, the arrow into the face of the, of, of the zombie. It's the strength with which it comes out of the, of the bow. So strength three, and then we need to know the resilience of the zombies. And zombies have resilience three here. So what do you do? You go to the tables here. And you say that the table for wounding is strength minus resilience, 3 minus 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. And so it means that you're going to wound on a 4 plus. Okay. Now, if my strength is very high and your resilience is very low, for example, if I have strength 5 and you have resilience 3, the difference is going to be 2, and it's going to be easier for me to wound you. That's why I'm wounding you on a 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6 as a result on the, uh, on the die, right? Very lengthy explanation. We're not gonna be so lengthy in the future. We're gonna try and go a bit faster than this. All right, so I need to roll the five dice which have hit and see if I can make a four plus. And I do one, 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 two, and six. Okay? So there is one hit that also wounds. And this means that I can take one, of the zombies and consider it as dead. Right? So this is how a shooting uh, unit can inflict casualties on a uh, target unit. You remove casualties from the uh, back rank. I mean probably what happens here is that these guys here shoot and they kill this zombie here in the in the first line and then you know you have the reshuffling around of all these guys here okay. i'm sure that you got the idea 
uh, they move forward. So that's why you remove one from the back, even if probably the one who died was at the, uh, at the front of the unit. Okay? So this is really the most basic set of things that you need to know for the shooting. Okay? So the line of sight, the range, the aim of the, uh, of the weapon that you're using, the number of shots that the weapon can fire, and then uh, how to hit using the aim value, and how to wound using the strength of the, uh, of the weapon and the resilience of the target, and then removing casualties from the, uh, uh, the back rank. Okay? So this is the, um, the really uh, basic stuff that lets you have a, a very general understanding of how shooting works here. Let's move now to the um, topic of a bit more advanced, of advanced shooting here. Okay, so let's pass. To, let's move on to section two.